What's the deal with y'all, man? It's your boy, Runaway Ron. Running towards the best version of myself, as you should be too. Y'all seen the title? Ain't nothing to it but to do it, so let's get right into it. Pew. It's just crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. I know what it is now. I know what it is now with this whole not being able to make friends things, this whole isolation, being in your own company, all of this shit, right? And I realize that it's literally lacking a sense of community. Um, Recently, I've realized, it was, it's not even recently, like I'm just, became aware of this maybe like last year um you know just recently just just knowing it doesn't even matter fucking when right but i've noticed that after high school there's no sense of community that is available to me probably you a lot of us right why how why like why does this matter because i don't think we realize that when we're in high school that's the one thing, the one place where there's an accumulation and abundance of people, of individuals that are your age, that are able to build that sense of community with. That's why you have so many friends. You got friends on the basketball team, friends on the football team. You might be in a club or two. You might be in ASB or whatever they call it nowadays. Like, you know, there's opportunities to build that network is what I'm saying, right? And as you get out of high school, you realize that opportunity to build a network, to build a community is literally going like this. Damn near slim to none. There's slim to none opportunities to build a community. And the best thing about high school, which is I think undervalued, is you really get the opportunity to connect with people that are relatable to you. The people you hung around with, the people you hung out with were, you know, people that you hung out with, you naturally gelled with, you naturally related to, you naturally became friends with, okay? So it just makes sense. Um, and where else could you build communities, man? Um, personally, for me, there's, I'm going to tell you all, all the different types of communities that I've been in, Right? You know, you got your high school friends, your high school community, whether it was fake or not, it was a community for that point in time. Um, for the people that play video games, you know, you know, there was a video game community. Me and the guys used to play Call of Duty. You know, I had a Destiny uh, friend group. You know what I mean? Um, when I did 4X, that's a sense of community. I was around a bunch of like-minded individuals because we had one common goal, one common purpose. Um, I haven't been in a fraternity or sorority, but fraternities and sororities are another sense of community, right? Work, wherever you work, that could be depending on what kind of job you have. You know, you could either be surface level with your coworkers or you could actually get to know them to build that relationship to maybe build that community at your workplace, right? So those are just five, uh, I wouldn't say common, but low key common communities that you can get involved in. <sighs> And why is having a community important? Um, having a community is important for me and what I believe because it's a you get a sense of something bigger than yourself, right? Like, because it's not about you. Like, when you're playing a game, whether whatever game that is, the goal isn't you. The goal is all of you guys going to do whatever the fuck. You know, that's the goal. That's something that's bigger than you. When you're in, when you're at work, yeah, you meet people, but obviously you're providing value to society. That's something bigger than you. High school, college, this shit doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. College, you could possibly potentially make a community, make, you know, those connections. But personally, from my experience, no, bro, you can't. You can't. One, why? Everybody in college got their own schedules. Everybody in college got their own friends they already know. People in college aren't just your age. There's people all different ages. 
you know, you might be in class with a 26 year old and you're a freshman that's 18, 19, right? And another thing too, college, there's people from everywhere. So that I believe makes it that much harder to be able to relate to someone else that just isn't from your remote location. Whatever the case may be, man. If you've been able to make connections and relations in college, kudos, keep doing that. Unfortunately for me, I, I wasn't able to do that. I've tried, I've tried numerous amount of times. So I think it's just best for me to just play my role, get in where you fit in, might not get in or fit in anywhere, and that's okay. If you feel like you don't fit in anywhere, you feel like nobody's accepted you into their community, their group, their whatever you wanna place there, it's okay because it's meant to be that way. It's meant for you not to fit in. It's meant for you to be on your own path, on your own journey. That's just that's just what I said to, that's just what I tell myself to probably cope, you know what I mean? Just on the realest feel. So um, yeah, man, and literally being out of high school, I realized how important, how influential that aspect of just having a community is. You know, you got a bunch of friends, Y'all go do shit. Y'all got common interests, right? Y'all got relatability. It's multiple, y'all, like I just said. You know, it's just excitement, excitement, excitement. It's good. It's good. It's good. I loved it. I loved it. But ever since high school, that <clears throat> was gone. You know, ever since I stopped doing 4X, that shit's gone. You know, I'm not joining the fraternity. I don't think... And you know, let's talk about that, too. Speaking of fraternities, um... It's one thing to have a community, to be a part of something that you feel, to be a part of a group that you feel, that you feel you personally connect to, relate to. But there's another thing to know if that community, that group is genuine or not. And that's another aspect that, uh, that goes over a lot of our heads. Me personally, my high school community, um, it was a lot of fake. It was a lot of fake love. Um, banishment, you know, dispelled, you know, kicked out the clan, kicked out the Hidden Leaf Village. You know what I mean? It was a lot of that going on. <laughs> it's funny. I'm not even going to talk about that. It just struck a funny ass thought. Um, but yeah, in high school, my community, I got kicked out, whatever the fucking case may be. However, the cookie crumbled, the cookie crumbled. You know, I have to go uh, 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 find a new group, right? <laughs> I have to go find another village, another group to go to. But um, yeah, back to what I was saying, you know, you got to really know if these groups, these communities that you want to be a part of or you're invited to is genuine, man. You got to make sure there's no hidden agendas on the back end, right? Like I just said, my high school community, it wasn't genuine. Um, 4X, my 4X community, my 4X group, it wasn't genuine. And we, I knew, me and my homies knew that from the jump. This shit's a business. We're here to make money, not make friends. So, you know, when I left and nobody is on my phone hitting me up, checking on me, I wasn't even expecting it. I expected that. I expected that treatment to not be in relations to any of those people anymore because we weren't talking before I joined. Why are we gonna fucking talk after I leave? if we already didn't build that relation. There's probably only two people from me being in Forex that I still keep in contact with, and that's because I respect them. Those are the only two individuals that was real nigga with me, so you know, I'ma pay respects to individuals that treat me with such respects, is what I'm trying to say, right? Um, the gaming community, that was genuine, that's cool. That's kind of easier to have a genuine connection, genuine relation. Um, um, fraternities and sororities, this is going to be really biased because, and this is going to be really biased because I'm not in a fraternity or sorority, but I think that shit fake too. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I'm not in it. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt, but the whole fact of, you know, you just pay some money to essentially make friends and connections. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I'm going to just stay in my lane. I'm going to stay in my lane. You know, paying to make connections, I guess that has some value, some benefits. But most of the time, bro, people are getting in fraternity sororities to make friends. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I just want you to be aware of it. Is it really genuine or not? You know, hopefully those people that are in your class 
whatever they call it, are people that you connect with for the rest of your life. And let's see, and, and let me ask you this. If you leave that sorority, that fraternity, are those people that you met still gonna be cool with you? Are they still gonna be cool with you like they was when you was in it? Mm, I don't know, bro, that's, that's your answer right there. That's your answer right there, bro. So if the answer is no, shit, even if you being in it right now, is it genuine? I don't know, that's only up for you to decide. So, you know, and then work. Work is really one of those things because you could be working with old motherfuckers. You could be working with kids. Like, bro, it's work low key. Like, I don't know, bro. Work, you got to really like, I don't know. I'm not really like the people I've worked with. I'm very cool with them. And I'm very even cooler with the ones that are my age. But there's just not too many people my age. And the thing about work is when people leave your job, Y'all probably not talking no more, bro. Like, that's just life. That's life, bro. If you're not in proximity, you don't communicate. The only times you communicate and you're not in remote areas of each other is if y'all really cool like that. Y'all really close. But most of the time, it takes time. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Most of the time, it takes time, let alone a prolonged period of time to build those deep connections to where... Even if y'all don't work with each other, y'all don't go to the same school, you guys are separated, you guys are still cool, still in contact, still communicating. Okay? So, um, yeah. So what are you trying to get with all this shit, bro? I know, I know. I'm just talking right now. I'm literally just talking. What I'm trying to say is, man, is, uh, damn, it's a hole in my sock. I gotta throw these away. But all I'm trying to say is, man, is that for those people that have communities, if you have a friend group or a car group, a club, yoga, dance, basketball, whatever the case may be, man, cherish that shit. Cherish that shit for what it is. Try to make deep connections with everybody in those groups. Because in the end, all you're doing is expanding your network and expanding your relations to people. And we're human beings, we're social creatures, we're social animals. At heart, all we want to do is be around people, talk to people that we find relatable, be around people we want to be around. Okay? So if you have those groups, those communities, please maximize them to 100% because there are a lot of people like myself or like you, whatever the case may be, that don't have those communities, that don't even have the opportunity to get in communities. Okay? And how do you find communities? How do you find a community? There's ways. I'm not saying if you're not in a group or a community that you can never be in one. You know, but if you're out of high school, in college, out of college, the only way to do that is go join a club. You know, go online. Go search. You got to go look for groups. Literally, bro. That shit is just what it is. It's probably not going to happen naturally. Especially if you're not in those environments. And that's what I'm trying to say. There aren't too many environments where you're going to be around people your age, let alone the abundance of people your age that probably have the same interests as you. Because if we're all in the same age, and I'm talking about high school pretty much, we're all on social media. We're all up to date with the trends, the music, the news, everything. And then when you're out of that environment, out of that community, you go out to the real world, people aren't up to date. Not everybody is going to be like you is what I'm trying to say. So... Yeah, man. Um, yeah, community, bro. Community. Personally, my take on just not having a community, not having... Uh, I got friends, but I don't have a friend group, right? And how I feel about that is that that's fine, man. If if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If I end up in some community, whatever it is, whether that's video games, anime, basketball, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Um then it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Maybe what I need to go do is go find a group of individuals that talk about the things I talk about that think the way I think. So I can get a sense of fulfillment as far as having a community, having something bigger to work towards. But I don't know. Personally, I'm okay. I'm okay not having a community. I'm okay how it is right now. I don't, you know, but you know, sometimes when you just think, because we have thoughts, and it's like, damn, like, what happened? And that's what happened, bro. You're not in an environment anymore to have a community. Dead ass. I tried making friends in college. I tried even this semester. It's just not the same, bro. 
It's, but that is not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same, bro. It's totally different, man. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go find your community, bro. Um, if you want to be in one that bad, if you crave, you know, social relations with other individuals, go find you a community. Personally, that's not what I need right now. I need to be in my own shell, in my own lane for other reasons. If you watch my other video, then, you know, I'll tell you why, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. Um, I like it like this. I ain't gonna lie because, like I said, all those communities I was telling you about earlier, that's all that shit was fake, bro. And pretty much what I'm saying is, if I'm gonna get in a community just for it to be fake, then what the fuck is the point? All I want is genuine connections. That's all I want. I'm gonna go link with one of the old homies from high school today because he reached out because he'd been in contact with me. We've been in contact with each other for, you know, spurts, you know, just we're on the same type of time. That's simply what it is. And today he reached out to actually link up instead of just, you know, communicating over social media to build that relation. That's what I see. So he said, I said, you know what? Yeah, let's link, bro. I know you back from you. Let me get to know you now. Yeah, I knew you. No, 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 no. Let me say this. I don't know you. I knew you. The person you was in high school isn't the person you are now, and it's very apparent. So let's rebuild this relationship so that we can have a deeper one. And I respect that, bro. So you know what I mean? Like, I, I want that. You feel me? Not too many people reach out to me to really try to kick it if it ain't the people that's in my immediate circle already. So, you know, I just take note of that and I respect it. So I'm going to acknowledge it. I'm going to... uh. I'm gonna, uh, what's that word? I'm gonna fulfill. No, that's not the word. I'm going to reward. I don't know the word I'm thinking of right now, but yeah, I'm gonna acknowledge that, bro. Simple. So, yeah, man. Um, this is me talking, as always. I don't know if you learned something. Uh, go find a community, go on the internet, go to your school, go see what clubs they got. Go see whatever you're interested in. I don't know, bro. You got to find the answers for yourself. I can't tell you everything. I can, I can lead you there, but I can't tell you how to get there. That's for you and your GPS for your destination. I got my destination. You got your destination. We got to find it on our own. That's just the way of life. So if you like the video, man, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe to stay up to date. Um, if you feel like you need somebody to talk to or you need advice, I'm always available to the people. Reach me down below in the description. Make an appointment. It's free, whatever the case may be. And other than that, man, stay up to date with your boy. Like, comment, subscribe, like I already said. It's your boy. Runaway Ron. Running towards the best version of myself, as you should be too, always. And I'm running out of here. I'm gone.